So I was fat and weird looking since I was fucking born. Everyone hated me at school and everywhere else. I didn't care. Or not enough to blow my brains out. So after like third grade, I didn't even want anything. Anyway, all the great pans are totally ugly too. Rob Halford, Bruce Dickinson, Ozzy. He's even fat, but... They're all just right about a lot of things if, if you really listen to them like I did. Thanks to them, I made these friends finally. Ron, Jim, Jen. Steve, do the demon one. <laughs> yeah, I am the lord of evil in all darkness. <laughs> really nice people in a way. They had these criticisms of me, but I accepted that. Ron knew all this stuff about Satan, which was amazing, because he, you know, Satan is pretty fucking ugly too. And even fat, according to Ron. Around that time, I started to get these, like, very mutilatory intrusive thoughts. And, um... I don't know, I started seeing, you know, therapists, psychiatrists, but no one truly understood it. They just labeled it as, you know, OCD or some type of uh, mental disorder. I don't know. I truly think it's from, you know, sticking my hand in the dirt, you know. It was so I thought, teach me about death. Satan, I don't care. And it was all about murder, which was great. Because when you're not the one getting murdered, murder's the ultimate interesting thing. I totally agree with that. I used to feel like there was someone else inside my head, but I couldn't understand what they were saying at first. Then last October, Ron turned to me in class and asked me if I ever thought about killing a person. I said, yeah, because you know, we talked about it a lot, and he said, Let's go, Steve. Ron said that Jen, who I think he was fucking. You're a born communicator, or like, you had something to say to the rest of the world. Should come along too, which was okay with me. Steve kind of knew things were pretty weird soon, thanks to Jen. She's a really good artist. She draws these great medieval type scenes that look like album covers. She did one of a giant warrior holding somebody up in the air who looked exactly like Steven but mutilated and stuff. And she showed it to Steve one day to see what he'd say. And he laughed. Just the look in his eyes like, I know you're going to kill me, but I'm not going to believe it. So Ron asked Steve to come into the woods by the chemical plant with us. There's a pack of stray dogs around there. And we caught two and sacrificed them to Satan once. But he hadn't asked Steve along then because he was too fucking ugly and weird. So after school, Ron gave us rides to his place. Jen was already there. We got high and played metal, and Ron got these baseball bats out of the basement. Steve really knew something final was going on. You know, four people and three bats. So we hiked to the well. We'd already agreed Ron would strike the first blow because he was the strongest and smartest of us, or we thought so. And it was his big idea, his bats. He chose Steve. And I mean, Steve was huge. So there's this well in the woods where we dropped the dead dogs the other time, which was known as the well of hell. Some of us used to go there and pray to Satan when we were emotionally fucked up. The four of us stood by the well for a while, sort of looking at each other, giggling. Steve was giggling too, which was really pathetic. Anyways, Ron chickened out. He just stood there staring weirdly at Steve, not talking, and we eventually went home. It was dark. Steve had to go home and eat dinner or something. We just watched him walk down the road, waving by at us, feeling totally fucked. And Ron said, let's make a pact that we stay sober this time. So, Sunday Ron came over 
And this kitten walked into the yard, Ron picked the thing up and said, bait for Steve, and put it into a bag. He looked cute, I always thought so. Then Ron called Steve and invited the jerk to come help us kill something, the kitten, I guess. Then we listened to metal. Ron let Steve hold the kitten bag, I don't know why. And we parked by the woods and walked to the well of hell. It takes about 10 minutes. Ron had some rope and we tied the kitten bag to a tree branch. God, Steve was a jerk. He couldn't even hit it, he was so fat. And then it died and we cut it down. And I think I said, I wished we had something bigger to kill. And Steve agreed, which was weird. And then Jim said, Hey guys, so what should we do next? <laughs> should we go? <laughs> I think we were cracking up. Ron said we should smoke dope and think. So Ron asked Steve if he had a pipe. And when Steve reached into his pocket to check, Ron hit him right in the face. And he kept saying, why me, you guys? Why me? And Ron said, because it's fun, Steve. The way he said it, it was real soothing. Like if you would talk to a little kid, because it's fun, Steve. And then we hit him like 70 times. And then we said, sacrifice to Satan and put Steve's body down in the well and went home. Like I said, I draw pictures and I drew a picture that night of Steve as a skeleton with his guts hanging out that Ron wanted to frame. I have to admit, it was great. I just thought it was neat. You know, Steve is a skeleton with colorful guts, like he was gonna haunt us. And I took it to school the next day and I passed it around. And people liked it a lot. And they always liked what I did. I mean, they just trip out on it. Hey guys. I just wanted to say that I think what you did is cool. And a lot of people think so. Yeah, sure, I heard. You should really thank Ron though. It's his thing, really. I don't think Ron likes you. I don't think Ron likes any of us either. Or anyone, really. I guess I'm more interested in what it well, what it felt like to kill that guy. What do you think it felt like? I'll tell him. Nothing. That's what it felt like. You just do it. You start and then you just keep doing it because it's too late to do anything else. That's what you think. What the fuck was that? Sounds like fucking Steve, I hate to say. Correct. Yeah, being dead isn't any big deal, you guys. It's black. Extremely black. Anyway, I just showed up to say that when you guys die, I won't be able to hurt you or your spirits or anything if you're worried about that. That's weird. It's not about Satan or anything. You just die.